Fish Channel here. Uh, we're out in a Tletsam uh, Staghorn Sumac today. It's actually ripe. Uh, to tell the Staghorn from the Poison Sumac, first off, it's uh, like this tubular shape with the berries. Very fuzzy. You wet your tongue and taste it off of it, and it's very like uh, bitter. I don't want to say bitter. Uh, almost like a, a tartness to it. Uh, the stems are fuzzy at the fruit area and then the uh, the leaves are jagged along the corners. Uh, they're called uh, oh I want to say composite but don't quote me on that folks. If I like I said this is all new to me but this is what we're going to be harvesting. I'm going to harvest a few off of this plant and I'm going to move down the trail here and see if I can find some more. All right. All right. Found myself some more of this uh, staghorn sumac. It's been really sunny. You know, this is getting very delightful. So this stuff's already harvestable. So I'm going to grab some more. I'm just trying not to take it all off the same plant. It's very windy out. I'll uh, just call for some heavy downpours later than thunderstorms later here. So I might get busy and then I'll get home and show you how we're going to take this and make it into a refreshing drink. Alright guys, I'm home now. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff soaking. Uh, like I said, this is a uh, staghorn sumac. Uh, there's multiple sumacs out there. Uh, there's another one that's like in a berry form. It dangles off. It'll turn red too. It's edible. Uh, but the uh, staghorn and that one is the only ones that is safe to uh, intake. You should always go ahead and try a little bit of it first to see how you react to it. Some people tend to have some allergies, different things like anything else out there. Now, uh, like I said, the, the stems are going to be very furry and the uh, opposite lit leaves and they'll be very rigid. Uh, the poison sumac, the uh, leaves are smooth and uh, the berries stay white. You're mostly going to find them in wet, damp, marshy areas is what I'm being told. Uh, these ones you can see along the road, just driving along the roads as long as they're not hit with uh, pesticides, you're safe. So we're going to go ahead and get these soaking in some cold water and then I'm going to squish them up a little bit and let them soak for about 15 minutes, run it through some cheesecloth and let it chill. I'll get back to you here after a minute or so. All right, we got these soaking in some just cold tap water. I went ahead and squeezed them a little bit to try to get everything to start coming and leaching into the water. Uh, this is the first time I've done this, so I just covered them enough with water and they float pretty much to the surface. So uh, my understanding is I should let this sit for at least 15 minutes and this should turn this a more pinkish color of the water itself whenever the berries and the flavor starts leaching into uh, that. And the berries are real fuzzy when you first touch them. Um, this process here, I'm able to leach the berry out and also get any buds and everything else out of that. So we're going to let this soak for about 15-20 minutes and we'll get back to you whenever we uh, go ahead and run it through the uh, cheesecloth. Alrighty, I got staghorn out. Threw it in the trash bag next to me, so check this out of the way. Let's see if I can do this gingerly without spilt making a mess and start straining this out into this pitcher. Whoa! started a mess, so I'll just keep it here. Just using cheese cloth. As long as I get this cleaned up before Mama gets home, I'll be in good shape. That's staghorn sumac aid. 
I'm going to go ahead and pour myself a glass after I clean up the mess, add some ice, and tell you what it tastes like. I need to add sugar or not. Alright. This will be a learning experience for me, guys. Set this over here. Get on this side of the camera. Tastes like a weak tea. Maybe if I add some sugar to it and sweeten it up, it might be a little better. I may have uh, put too much berries in perspective to uh, water. I might have diluted it a little bit too much, but. not bad so I'm gonna go ahead and add some sugar and I'm gonna get this thing posted alright guys thanks for watching have a great day sorry guys I'm back here real quick uh, cold water whenever you leach this stuff do not use hot water because you'll end up releasing the tannins and make it really bitter and second off to uh, all my subscribers and to ghost camo for uh, turning me into uh, trying this. Thank you. Once again, have a great day, guys.